Oh, what time is it? I don't know. Oh, my God, I'm late. It's fine. We've got ages. Now, oh, Max, I wasn't meant to stay all night. And yet you couldn't drag yourself away. I've got to go. Wait, wait, before you go, I want to say something. What? Did he pull? Well, I heard noises. Like Spooky Springs? More like some kind of a wildlife safari. Shall I? See, your mouth says no, but... No! Max, do you want a cuppa? I could murder one. One mug or two? Uh, just one, I think. Okay, I'm coming in. Hey, good night. Oh, you know, it was so, so good. Really, really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Okay. Just the one mug? She would have seen my shoes. Who do you think? They're just lying here. So? So, how many women do you know in Holby that wear 400 pound shoes? Oh, 400 quid! Hitch the chipper to Misty. Follow the ambulance to Holby and park them outside. Don't leave anything on site, right? You leave anything on this site, and you know what happens. Repo man. That's right. Looking like a woman in charge. Morning. Morning. Lonesome. I could see your shoes right in the middle of the bedroom. Did he pull? Max always pulls, but these weren't just shoes. They were like killer shoes, like hundreds of pounds with really classy shoes. Maybe he's got a shoe fetish. Uh. <laughs> anyway, I asked him outright. I said, I can see this one hiding under the covers. I'm not a mug. Whose are those shoes? And what did he say? Zoe. Quick about the equipment budget return. Has lobster on the menu today? He does, but I wouldn't touch it. The man's a vandal when it comes to shellfish. Hey. Do you want to earn yourself a tenner, mate? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm really not that kind of porter. I'm sure Lofty would. Uh... No, really. I just I need someone to get me into a taxi. Right. It's just I want to go and visit my mum. Yeah, well, I want three backing singers and a record deal. Look, I'm not being funny, mate, but the state of you, you're not going anywhere. <clears throat> Gentlemen, you do a bunk in a taxi and that leg is finished. My mum, she knows I did all this on the day that she went into the hospice. And what, she'll blame herself? No, she doesn't need any more fuss or stress or anything. So I played it down, OK? So she doesn't know the full extent? You do want to see her? Yeah, but I don't want to turn up in an ambulance. It's going to freak her out. Come on, Diggs. That's if we could even get you one. No offence, but no mum, sick or not, needs to see her son turning up surrounded by a bunch of... Well, you know, you guys. Well, today, we're all you've got. That is not an ambulance. There's no flies on you, are there? Step up from a mini cab. Best offer of an ambulance was next week, or a week later, maybe. It... Give us a puff. No. Go away. Nice. You should smoke anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of things I shouldn't be doing. Max, not appropriate. Oh. While I'm working on the hospital premises, not appropriate. Is it me, or did you just get a lot shorter? Ginny has a... Swap shifts with Lofty. Dixie's gone AWOL too, apparently. You any idea where they've gone? I am just a humble porter. He asked you a question. Do you know anything about this? 
Yeah. Uh, they took a patient, Leo, I think his name was, to see his mum. She's dying. You should know better than this. Dixie especially should know better than this. It doesn't reflect well on Lofty's judgment. And you, swapping ships without consulting me. What were you thinking of, Robin? I don't know. I'm sorry. So this is what you were gossiping about earlier on? Yeah. That and... Um... Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm furious with them. And I'm so disappointed in you. That when you were helping Dixie loading a sick teenage patient onto the camper van, what were you thinking exactly? I was thinking, nice camper van. Is this a joke to you? Do you not understand how important my job is? This is not a joke. None of it is. I never said it was. This is my hospital, my department, my responsibility. Your hospital? I have to trust my staff, Max. They have to look up to me. Really? I had no idea. Oh, is that you being funny again? And I know that Robin has asked about my shoes on your bedroom floor. She did. And, of course, you've told her. I did. Well, thank you. I told you. her I pulled in her hostess. I even told her I could get her a free upgrade if she wants to fly to Dubai, which I obviously am she doesn't. Oh, and um, by the way, I didn't tell you about Dixie and Lofty to get them into trouble. I told you to try and keep them out of it. Well, that just shows how naive you are. Yeah, I guess it does. Well, I'm glad to see you rescued your shoes. Yeah, well, some sacrifices are just too big. Is that right? So, what are we looking for? Hmm? No, I'm just trying to work out where your hospital ends and the rest of the world begins. Listen, I'm sorry. No, seriously, is it here or is it here? Because it feels like it could be here. I should probably check with you. Are we off hospital property here? Yes, yes, we are. Good. Oh, oh. Okay, so not in your hospital, but still inappropriate. 